morning, River of Life. It's a privilege to speak to you this morning. And as you can see, sitting flat on the grass in my garden, hearing the birds and just having a, you know, a sense of God's presence around me. So this morning I read chapter 11 in Deuteronomy. So you know what our system is, the soap system. We read scripture, we see what we observe, then we write an application and pray about it. This is the process to see and to experience if you can hear God's voice in a moment like this. So the three verses that I'm highlighting is verse 2, verse 5 and verse 7. It says, Remember today that your children were not the ones who saw and experienced the discipline of the Lord your God, His majesty, His mighty hand, and His outstretched arm. Verse 5 says, It was not your children who saw what He did for you in the wilderness until you arrived at this place. And then verse 7 says, But it was your own eyes that saw all these great things the Lord has done. So just some context. So we have Moses speaking to the nation of Israel. And they're in this process, uh, you know, crossing over, moving into the promised land. And then he makes a specific comment. He says, guys, remember, you are almost on the verge of crossing over. And as you cross over, you should remember one thing. Your own eyes saw the Lord your God do certain miracles and wonders in the desert. You are the ones... Uh, crossing over as adult people, carrying this blessing and this picture, this understanding of the Lord your God in your hearts and in your minds. And then Moses makes this comment, he says, remember, it is not your children. Your children did not experience this, they did not see it. I want to bring this in context for today. You know, sometimes and oftentimes actually we don't realize what a big um, privilege it is to be adult people in a community. Uh, I can even elaborate in saying what a big privilege it is to be parents of children. As we go through the season, let's call it the lockdown or the COVID-19 season, which will, by the way, be a very specific time in the books of history forever. So first of all, we're living in a significant time. We are chosen to live in a time such as this, experiencing what we're experiencing. But as adult people and as parents of children, we are the ones that are experiencing and seeing God moving on our behalf right now. And as we journey through this and as we will exit out of the season and going into the next season, we will sit with a, with a certain set of truths about what our picture is about God, our God. Did He come through? How did He come through? Is God late? Uh, was He on time? Could we experience His love? You know, the whole story about God will be so clear in your own heart and in your own mind because you're the adult and you're the parent that needs to lead your family forward in these times. At the same time, I want to say to you, the flip side is also there. We have children following us. You see, you have children. And children don't often do what they hear people say they should do. They do what they see. I want to say this morning as a parent and as an adult, maybe you say, but I don't have children yet or my I have grown up children whether you have children right now in your home or not the children the young generation in our country are all looking upon those that are in adult and authoritative positions right now to see and try and experience and write their own stories about a picture of God they are asking questions is God faithful is God with mother and father is God the one who is providing they are, asking, they are asking questions and saying, but these adult people saying they love Jesus, are they hopeful? Are they sitting in despair? Are they fearful? And you know, on every single question that the young ones have at this stage, just the way you live, you are writing a definition or an answer in their minds every single day. So whatever they see in the morning from mother and father, Whatever they see, whenever they see people outside there, when they hear comments of adult people speaking, they are busy defining God in times of crisis. And as we're going to exit this and move into the next seasons, we will live many years to come. We as adult people will give over to a next generation and the potential of the next generation to navigate difficult moments will probably be built on this moment right now. So I want to challenge you. Whatever you say, your answers to certain questions, your, your attitude, your body language, 
the way you communicate with God, the, the way you spend time in the word, the way you, you, you prophesy and you declare promises, the way you show hope to those in your family is the way they will be able to show hope in the future when things are difficult. So I want to encourage you. I want to inspire you. I want to actually challenge you saying as an adult and as a parent, from this day forward, in this day, think before you do, think before you say, and just know that whatever you do will have an impact on the next generation to come. So can I pray for us? Lord, thank you that this morning we have you, we have your word, and Moses was so clear with the nation of Israel saying, guys, before we move over, get this, you knew exactly what the God did in the desert, and the only way your children will ever know when the going gets tough on the other side of this river is if you tell them and show them how to live in hope and in passion. And Lord, in the same way, the way we navigate this moment right now is the way our children will have the ability to do it in the next years to come. Please be with us. Lord, please be gracious on us. And please put the burden on our shoulders to understand and to know every day we have a role to play. In Jesus' name, amen. Until next time, thank you.